This is just a quick video I'm putting together. It involves my most recent purchase, which is the Evo SS Gimbal. It's an amazing gimbal. I saw a bunch of the YouTubers that I follow, the mountain bike YouTubers that I follow, have suggested this. Uh, BKXC uses that gimbal, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I know MTB Drop-In uses that gimbal as well. Uh, but this video is a, not entirely about the gimbal, but what camera you need to run with it. And if you have that gimbal and you like to use that gimbal, you do not want to buy a GoPro 5 or GoPro 6 or a Session as well, the new Session. I'm not sure if the original Session was waterproof, but I know the Hero 5 Session, the GoPro 5 Hero, and the 6 Hero do not work with the Evo SS Gimbal. There is something about the waterproofing and the way the microphones pick up sound. All you're going to hear is a digital sound from the motors in the gimbal. And it sounds horrible. It sounds so bad that the first day that I used the gimbal, I had my GoPro 6 on it. I literally bought them. I think I received the gimbal in the mail that morning, went to Best Buy that afternoon, bought the Hero 6 brand new, put them together, went out to Aliso Viejo, one of my local spots here, and the footage was great. The I was recording in 2K at 30 frames per second. The video footage was amazing. The, the difference between using a gimbal and just using a regular chest mount with no gimbal is just night and day. But the sound quality on the Hero 6 was terrible. I'm going to loop in some video that I took with the GoPro 6, and I'm also going to loop in the video of the camera that you want to buy to go with your Evo SS gimbal. That is the Garmin Verb Ultra 30. This camera, it's basically the same as the GoPro Hero 6, except that it's not waterproof. So it's much lighter, it's much smaller, it's pretty much form factor of like the, the GoPro Hero 4s, 3s, and 4s. I'm assuming it's about the same size, it's about the same weight, and the video that this camera gives you in conjunction with the Evo SS gimbal is crazy. The sound quality between the two, you'll hear it in the rest of the video. I'm, I'm, I'm going to loop in a bunch of clips and I'm going to put which camera is recording so you can hear. It's, it's night and day. It's like the GoPro's underwater and the Garmin Verb Ultra is just a uh, heaven sent. You can hear you can hear everything. You can hear me clicking through gears. You can hear my tires ripping through the dirt. I mean, I'm sure you can even hear me breathing hard as I'm going down some of these downhills. You hear everything. And the Garmin is just light years as far as however they capture capture sound or just the conjunction. Uh, another problem I think with the Hero 6 is that the Hero 6 is a lot heavier than this Garmin Verb. So when you put it on the actual gimbal, you'll see if the motors aren't turned on, the Garmin literally just like clunks to one side. Whereas when you put the Garmin Verb on there, it's relatively balanced with the, the motor weight and the, and the camera on there. It'll fall a little bit, but it's much more balanced. Great sound quality, great video. I typically record my video at 2.7K at around 30 frames per second. I'm going to start messing with like 60 frames just for some slow motion stuff. Uh, but it's it's amazing. If, if you want the Evo SS gimbal or you already purchased it and you're having problems with the GoPro camera, buy the Garmin Verb. It's amazing. The, the Verb Ultra 30. It's this little camera right here. It looks almost identical to a GoPro 3 or 4 except it doesn't have the little screen on the front which is just one more thing in my opinion that's gonna break on a Garmin I mean on a GoPro so watch the rest of the video and and you'll see what I'm talking about thanks a lot
wind was blowing anywhere from 15 to 20 knots on this day. So you do hear a lot of wind noise, but the sound is still clear. You can hear the free hub moving. You can hear the tires actually gripping the ground. With the GoPro Hero 6 attached to the same gimbal, you hear a lot of the digital humming and all of the other sounds are just kind of muted. My voice is muted, the sound of my bike on the trail is muted, it's just a horrible sound. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times between the Garmin footage and the GoPro footage. Everything was the same, same bike, same gimbal. The only thing that was different were the two trails I was on and obviously the days. Man, I wish I could rail that turn. There's just so much loose dirt in there. It's sketchy. Pretty good so far. Much softer than my bike through that stuff. All right, so thanks for checking out my video. Something you can do to help me out would be to click on one of these links up in the corners. One's gonna shoot you to a video, the other one's gonna shoot you to a playlist. And if you like what you've seen here, please click on the Urban Outdoorsman SoCal logo in the center to subscribe. Thanks a lot.